Tonight, I'm going to share with you a story in three parts. One that is not often associated with once upon a time or happily ever after. Like all stories, it has a beginning, a middle, and an ending. But we tend to get stuck in the middle of this story and call it the ending. This is the story of sexual violation. I believe we can continue past the middle of this story to an ending that can transform us and the world. This is my story too. Part one of the story, victim. My name is Lisa and I'm a victim of sexual violation. But I don't really know that yet because I'm little, really little. Toddler, preschool, elementary school little. And he's my dad. And what's happening to me in the middle of the night is so terrifying, so confusing. All I can do is get up and go to school and be whatever you want me to be. I need you to love me because underneath it all, where I am hiding, all I know is I am nothing. Part two of the story, survivor. My name is Lisa and I'm a survivor of sexual violation. At age 20, the flashbacks begin and I awaken to the reality that my dad sexually abused me. Within weeks, I am confronting him. His response, I didn't do that. Soon after, I lose my entire family, origin and extended. No one believes me, no one even talks to me about it. They're just really angry with me. And all I can do is leave that family and marry into another one and be whatever you want me to be. I still need you to love me because underneath it all, where I am surviving, all I know is I am broken. And for most survivors of sexual violation, the story ends here. The story ends in an ongoing struggle to survive. The years of therapy, the victim blaming, the shame and silence and dismissal and triggers and PTSD and bad relationships and mental illness and eating disorders and addictions and health issues. The story ends in a lifetime spent surviving the traumatic effects of a crime someone else committed. Why? Why does the story end here? Is it because we as a society, no matter how compassionate, believe it ends here? Is it because we have so internalized a story of sexual violation that is saturated in shame and silence and blame and hopelessness that on some level we believe survivors are forever broken? I know I did for 22 years until I realized the story of sexual violation actually has three parts, not just two. Victim, survivor, and hero. Now before I share with you part three of my story, let's talk about the word hero for a moment. A hero is traditionally defined as male and legendary, an illustrious warrior, and also one who shows great courage. A hero becomes a hero the moment they willingly risk their own well-being in order to save and protect someone. Someone diagnosed with cancer, for instance, becomes a hero the moment they courageously choose to battle that disease on their terms. In the same way, the moment 
you or I courageously choose to re-enter the darkness of our sexual violation in order to heal from its effects, we become heroes. The lives we are saving are our own. Now, I only began to realize this when I came across Joseph Campbell's hero's journey, and I saw in it my own journey. Campbell spent years researching myths from all around the world and uncovered a common trajectory in every heroic tale, a monomyth, he called it, with four main stages. One, awakening to a challenge. Two, undergoing a great ordeal. Three, collecting a reward. And four, using that reward to transform the world. In my own life, I entered into stage one, awakening, at age 20 when I confronted my father. I then quickly moved into my great ordeal, which ended up being 20 plus years in recovery. And like so many of us, because I didn't know any better, I got stuck right in the middle of my story, right in the middle of my hero's journey, until part three of the story. My name is Lisa, and I am a hero. I finally reached a tipping point in my recovery, and I had a choice to make between whatever you want me to be and my true self. I realized recovery isn't the ending. Recovery is the necessary means to an ending I get to create. And so I entered stage three of my hero's journey, and I collected my reward, the treasure of my true self. I left a 21-year marriage, and I found my voice and my choice. There's a lot in that sentence, isn't there? I now have a new home in the city which I've always dreamed of, new relationships, a new business, new political affiliation, <laughs> yes, uh, new shoes, <laughs> lots of new shoes. I no longer need you to love me. I choose to love me because underneath it all, where I am my own hero, all I know is I am here and I am whole. Now, I still feel the effects of sexual violation in my life from time to time. There are still moments I wake up in the middle of the night with the fear hovering over me. But I choose to face those fears whole, healed, and committed to creating a happy ending in my life, which for me includes helping other people who have been sexually violated create happy endings in their own. And so, I entered stage four of my hero's journey, transforming the world. I created a business called Paraloom. Paraloom is a combination of the words para, which means near or alongside, and loom, to shine. Paraloom empowers victims of sexual violation to continue past the survivor stage and heroically reclaim the treasure of their true selves, shining in the world without shame. Because of the role the hero's journey played in my own ability to shine, Paraloom uses the hero's journey as a template and an invitation to help other people shine. Stage one is awakening to the impact sexual violation has had on our lives. It is not easy to awaken. And so it is my dream that no one has to awaken alone. But when they do, they see a path lit before them with specific steps leading them onward in their journey to their reward so they have the courage to enter stage two, the great ordeal, which I call the recovery stage. In my own recovery, I had to wing it. I didn't know the depth and range of resources available, which is why Paraloom offers a referral network of healing resources, healing practitioners with various modalities, both traditional and non-traditional. So it doesn't take 
20 years to heal before moving on to stage three, collecting a reward. In this stage, it is no longer about going backwards to the time of the violation. It is about applying tangible tools and techniques to go forward powerfully. Here is where I had the privilege of creating a coaching program modeled after my own experience reclaiming the treasure of my true self. And it has been truly one of the great joys of my life to see people know who they are know what they want, and how to create lives they love without the shame of sexual violation getting in their way any longer. And so they are able to move on to stage four, transforming the world. My vision is that the message of heroism, fierce hope, and happy endings can extend not only to those of us who have been sexually violated, but to a world that is affected by this story. Here, Paraloom offers monthly shine soirees. These free community events celebrate the triumph of the human spirit in the aftermath of sexual violation. These are beautiful, safe, fun, non-therapeutic events complete with champagne, gluten-free desserts, desserts <laughs> packed with gluten, <laughs> And they bring together heroes to inspire us with their journeys, advocates, policymakers, and leaders to educate us, and healing practitioners to empower us. Shine soirees complete the circle, celebrating the true heroes of the story while inviting others to awaken and begin their own journeys, which is where I leave you tonight with an invitation. If you have not been sexually violated, consider that you know someone who has. We are many. Please be a safe place for us. Believe us, support us, and see us as the heroes we are. And for those of you who have been sexually violated, please know you are not alone. You are not crazy. You are not to blame. And you are not broken. I invite you to begin or continue your hero's journey all the way to your reward, the treasure of your true self shining in the world. Together, we can change our world with a story. One victim, survivor, hero at a time. Thank you.